So I am making, what are these called? Blueberry muffin cookies. Um, they're, I, I saw the recipe on something the other day and thought they re looked really good, so I got the uh, ingredients for it. They're apparently a copycat recipe from Crumble Cookies. I don't know, everybody's been talking about that cookie place lately, and there is none near me, none close enough anyway, I checked. So <laughs> anyway, I'm making these, and you're supposed to swirl blueberry jam into this with a chopstick so that the there will be like visible swirls of jam in the cookie so let's hope this comes out right but then I looked at it and it only makes eight cookies so I think you're supposed to make giant ones and I'm just gonna make smaller ones because we don't need gigantic cookies but we'll see how these turn out so they look pretty good this is the first batch and then I made four more so how many I have here six I made 10 instead of 8, but they're still huge. I wasn't expecting them to come out this huge. They smell really good. They're still really hot, but they're supposed to be so like soft cookies anyway. Oop, my finger's in the way. They're supposed to stay soft, so once they cool off a little bit more, I'm going to put them in like a um, storage container thingy. As you can tell from last week, I was able to delete a bunch of stuff off my phone, and get videos off of it again. Um, it's still having issues connecting to my computer, but I can get the the video clips and stuff off of my Google Photos, so that makes it a little bit better. <laughs> At least I can do like videos throughout the week again. Um, I don't know why I always leave that closet door open. <laughs> As you can see, it very, very badly needs to be cleaned and uh, organized and stuff. I have a bunch of clothes I have to go through stuff I don't wear anymore and donate and throw stuff away and just... I have a problem getting rid of t-shirts. I don't know why. Like, I have plenty of t-shirts that have holes in them and stuff and then I'm just like, oh, I can use this for dyeing my hair and let's just keep this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got a little bit of time in between Aiden's classes here. He did his, um, his star 360 testing today, so he got the math and the language arts out of the way, and then tomorrow is that, the one that he doesn't like doing, the reading comprehension one, and then we will be set, no more tests for this school year. I don't know why they're doing so much stuff the last two weeks of school, because I remember, like, the last week, week and a half of school, when I was in school, was always, like, fun, like, okay, we'll watch a video today or do stuff like that. And I guess the, the school just doesn't do it that way. But <clears throat> um, we've been like bombarded with work this week. Not from like his math teacher does it right. Like I praise that guy all the time for what an awesome teacher he is. And like all the kids love him and Aiden loves him. And I think that's another reason why he does so well in math and he's doing so great in math this year is because the guy knows how to teach correctly. Um, he's just been giving them like one little worksheet to do each day um, because they have all this testing this week. And there's like three days where they didn't get to have actual math class because of this testing going on. So he just gave them little little things to do but the language arts teacher which also does the science I don't know why she's not qualified in any way shape or form to be teaching a science class she said eggs melt the other day okay <laughs> um but anyway <laughs> she they only have science on Fridays they have science and social studies on Fridays so we're used to only doing science work on Friday so on Monday she posted a science thing and I figured that was because she wasn't having live classes all week. We were like, okay, let's do this worksheet today. So I helped him do it on Monday. And then <clears throat> when I got on his school thing this morning, it said that he had overdue work. And I'm like, what the hell? Because I went through last week and he had overdue stuff that she, she posts stuff at night sometimes and then it doesn't show up as their work for that day because I go through at the end of every day and make sure he did all his worksheets and stuff that he's supposed to do. So he had like four things that needed to be done. So we had to, like, we already had extra work this week because of that. I don't know why my forehead is red right here. It's itchy and I think something bit me. 
but we already had extra work because of that so I was aggravated about that to begin with um, because she posts stuff at night and then it doesn't get posted for that day it doesn't show up as work from that day and then it just doesn't show up in his calendar as work that needed to be completed so he had this stuff that had to be done that was like a couple of science experiments which take a really long time especially when like I have to explain it to him and everything and <clears throat> that was just a mess in and of itself and we had to finish all that stuff so then we got on this morning and it said there was over an overdue science thing and I'm like what the hell so she's been posting science stuff every day this week even though they only have science on Fridays I don't know why she's doing that and then the homework for today all week they're supposed to be working on an essay which she gives them essays all the time and it's really aggravating um, but all week they're supposed to be working on that but on top of that she's been giving them a crap load of other stuff like today she had them do a graphic organizer to start another story that they haven't even talked anything about yet and they ha they're supposed to come up with another story now in on top of doing their informative thing about bioluminescence and how animals can light themselves up in nature and stuff like that. Um, that and then she also gave them another worksheet that went with the reading part of today's lesson that they were supposed to do. I'm like, these kids are in third grade. This is so much work for third grade alone, let alone the last two weeks of school. Like, I don't know why she's piling so much work on. None of the other, his other teacher, which is the math teacher who also does the social studies classes, which are also only on Fridays, he's not doing this to them. Like, they have social studies on Fridays. He hasn't posted any social studies stuff because I went and checked after I realized that this lady was posting science every single day. I went back and checked to make sure there was no social studies stuff being posted every single day. So, I, I don't know. I can't be the only parent that is completely fed up with this woman and I'm kind of worried that maybe a bunch of us are and nobody's saying anything I don't know I just I don't want to launch a big complaint about her about her and then end up having to have her for something next year you know it's just <clears throat> she seems like the type of person that would take it out on Aiden if I were to complain about her <sighs> I don't know it's just, I don't want to risk having her as a teacher for something next year. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen because she was only supposed to be a substitute. She was supposed to be filling in for the language arts teacher who took off and we don't know what happened to her. Uh, she took off the week they came back from Christmas vacation. So she's been gone since uh, January. And we didn't really ever get a an explanation just that she would be back and she's not gonna be back by the end of the year there's no way unless she decides to come back the last day of school and be like hey guys did you miss me <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to her I'm sure if it's a personal thing they don't want to talk about but I I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that maybe she just quit like up and quit and didn't really give a reason I don't know too much drama going on with school lately I will be so happy <laughs> <laughs> when uh when it's next Thursday. Thursday is the last day. I'll be so happy when Thursday is over. And it's not even a half day. I was hoping they'd have a half day or something, but nope. I think they go back um the last week of August or something like that. I don't know. I'm so used to it being September though, because like when I went back to school it was always in September. <clears throat> but they are a virtual school so they don't get snow days so they get out earlier in the summer which means they go back earlier in the fall but whatever I'll just have a couple months anyway a couple months to uh, relax <laughs> and get well I won't be relaxing I'm probably gonna get even more work done because I'm just gonna try and have more sales than normal but whatever um, all he has left today is art class, which is nice because he doesn't have the read aloud stuff at the end of the day because that te the language arts teacher is doing that testing all week with kids. Um, 
Mm. I'm just trying to delete emails and stuff because I have so many things. I'm planning on having a sale this weekend, so I got all my sale orders from last week done. That's what I wanted to do, actually, now that I mentioned that. I have to check. I had ordered highlighter pans, and they're still not here yet, and I don't know why. Oh, no. It says they were delivered already. They're not here. I hate our mailman so much. I, he hates us because of... Uh, how many packages I get and stuff, and I did not I did not get this package. It says it was delivered. Great. Now I'm going to have to deal with this. All right. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of crap to go to now. I don't want to do this. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I've had, uh, I have such a headache right now. <laughs> I've had a hell of a morning. Um, like, I woke up with a headache, and then I just had a freaking breakdown because <laughs> whenever I cry I get a headache anyway but uh waking up with a headache and then crying on top of it just has just made it worse so <sighs> Aiden had I, I told you yesterday he did his the star 360 test which was like the easier language arts one from the stuff he's learned all year and um the math one he did those both with his special needs teacher, no problem. And today he had that stupid reading comprehension test, which the last time he did it, it wasn't that bad. He hit some lady that he doesn't have as a teacher gave it to him. And it was like a three page story and it was up on the screen so that he could go back to it and refer to it to answer questions. Today, for some reason, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to email because I'm so pissed off about this. I'm getting ready to compose myself and write an email, a professionally worded email because I'm so aggravated with this teacher he has. Um, she gave him like this chapter book to read, which is fine. He can read really well. I, I say that all the time. The first part of the test is reading a bunch of words and he had super hard words for, to read and he read every single one of them correctly. And I'm concerned that because he reads so well, they're giving him a harder test. So she had like a, a three chapter book for him to read. And then when he was done, she took the, the book away off the screen and was asking him these questions that I don't think I could have even answered, okay? So he was just sitting there totally confused, getting upset. I was getting upset. Like, the fact that this teacher got brought in as a substitute, I don't know if she realizes that reading comprehension is his bugaboo. Like, he he has little to no reading comprehension when he's reading a story. Why does my lighting look so yellow all of a sudden? It's going, like, really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> but he basically didn't answer any of the questions. She, one of them was, like... What lessons did you learn in this story and how does it apply to your life? How is that a third, gra third grade question? I couldn't have even answered that after reading that story. I didn't even come away from that story with a friggin' lesson. It was about a girl exploring a cave. But anyway, I'm just pissed off and like everything from the past few weeks with this teacher just accumulating and aggravating me. I just had a meltdown and started having a fit. So... Steven, of course, is the one that calms me down all the time, so I'm calm now, um, or more calm. I'm sure I'm going to work myself up again trying to, um, I'm going to email his special needs teacher, who is also his case manager, um, like my point of contact person with the school whenever there's an issue with something, and I'm going to tell her. I don't want him, I don't think he should be in a regular language arts class next year because I don't like how fast they're moving. They jump from one thing to another. And this is really a dig at that teacher because it wasn't like this before she came in as a friggin' substitute. So that's where I'm at. I'm just gonna talk to her and be like, is there another option for something else for language arts next year? Because I know there's a couple other kids in his class 
that have learning disabilities and they don't come to the regular language arts class. Like they go to math class and stuff because they're like him, they're really good at math. Um, I'm not sure what their, what their learning disabilities are. Like I think uh, one of the girls is autistic. I'm not sure what the other one, it's probably something similar. Like they all have similar learning abilities and learning disabilities in his, his group. Um, but like, just the language arts class is too hard for him. Like he can do, um, he, he has no problem doing work like where they're learning about sentence structure and like vocabulary words and stuff like that. It's the reading stories and answering questions about them. And that is all this test was today. And that is why it was so stressful for him, for both of us, because I'm the one freaking out over here. I just, I, I don't, I just, it's time for me to like, say how I feel about that other teacher like I'm not happy at all with how she, her, her how she's been running class and it's just that so I am going to sit here and try to type this out now because he has like an hour before he has another class and as if this day wasn't already horrible the fucking washing machine just broke <laughs> like I I've wanted to get a new washer and dryer for a while now but like we keep putting it off because other things are more important and just I went down there to get the stuff out of the washer and put it in the dryer Aiden always helps me and I noticed that the stand that the washing machine is on was soaking wet and it's just like the, the past week or so I've noticed something's been off because like the laundry doesn't seem as clean when it comes when I'm done drying it and everything it like the towels stink and it's pissing me off and I tried to get like washing machine cleaner and nothing is helping so it, it's just finally shitting the bed it's old as is and now I'm trying to find a deal on a washing machine because like I don't want to get a washer and dryer at once there's nothing wrong with the dryer right now I'm just ugh. Nothing can, like, this day has just been shit and I can't wait to just wake up tomorrow and have a new day because I'm super aggravated. <laughs> Everything is just super aggravating me today. I still feel like shit. I took a nap and my headache won't go away. So, my headache went away for a little bit last night and then I woke up with it again. I don't know what's going on. Closet door is open as usual. I'm just gonna have to stay like that for now. I'm slapping on some makeup because I gotta do pick up the groceries and get uh, go to the post office today. So why is my light so yellow? This controller like does not work anymore. There it is. Okay, I like the the whiter light it just makes it brighter in here but anyway so I woke up with my headache again and the, every time every month lately when my period is over I get a headache for like two or three days and it's super duper annoying and like I shouldn't even call it a headache it's more of a migraine because it lasts all day and it makes me ill I don't want to eat anything, I try to chug water, nothing helps it go away except like laying in a dark room and sleeping and even then I tried to do that and it didn't go away, I still had it when I woke up yesterday, so. <sighs> I don't want to start getting like having migraine issues at this time in my life like I, I've always had. migraines and stuff, but it's not as often as I've been getting them lately. But it's always connected to my friggin' period. And of course, because I'm getting older, everything's changing, and I'm probably gonna have frickin' migraine issues all the time. Anyway. <coughs> I know it was <coughs> probably stupid to get as upset as I did yesterday about the friggin' Uh, 
the teacher and everything, but it was just like, I'm one of those people that holds things in until they boil up and then I just have a meltdown about it. So the fact that the past few months, this teacher has just been an issue, and then that happened yesterday with the damn test, I just, I was getting more aggravated that she doesn't seem to realize that he has a learning disability. Like, in my opinion, she shouldn't even be teaching the neurotypical children language arts because there's a bunch of words she doesn't know how to read, she doesn't know how to do things in the, the course, <laughs> the online course that they're doing and stuff. So, I don't know, I just, <clears throat> I don't know how she ever got qualified as a teacher. But, but it was just, that was an aggravation to me yesterday. So, I mean, I don't know what colors I want to use today. I'm trying to use, get some use out of these little beach ones that I just got. So I have a, a meeting, a Zoom meeting Monday afternoon. Well, morning technically, I guess, at 11.30 with his special needs teacher to go over it because, like I said, she's his case manager and stuff. And I told her, I'm like, I don't know how that test is, like, administered, but it seems to me like he got a really hard test because his, is the word fluency, I guess? is so good because he can read whatever word you put in front of him. You can give him like this big super long word and he knows how to read it. So it might have just matched him with a really hard test because of that, but like in any case, I don't know why that teacher doesn't know because I'm pretty sure it's on his IEP that he's a very visual learner and he needs the books and stuff in front of him that they're learning about or he's not going to be able to answer any questions, never mind asking him ridiculous questions like, how does this relate to your life? Like, I was just sitting there like, he cannot answer, you know, his brain doesn't work that way. He can't form a response to a question like that yet. I hope he'll be able to do that in the future, but he's not there yet. <sighs> and this is a prettier little quad than I thought it was gonna be on my eyes. This is the, this is the one that was marked with the, I did a swatch video on this and two of them both say sure thing on the back. They, they have the wrong stickers. So this is sure thing, but the other one that's marked sure thing is supposed to be shell bound, which is like this brownie, brownish one. So this one is shell bound, <laughs> the one I'm using is sure thing, which it doesn't make sense because this one has like names that sound like um I don't even know now because I lost this thing right is that this one clam bake such a catch fin and krill in it I don't know I just thought that that was more like names that would have to do with reddish pinkish colors <laughs> but I guess I'm wrong. Maybe I'm bad at naming colors, but I do it all the time for my eyeshadows that I make, so. Um, should I do matte or? I'm gonna do this like dark reddish brown. But yeah, today hasn't been as stressful so far. And he technically has like a half day because his social skills class that they have every Friday is done for the year the two teachers that run that um, have meetings and stuff for the next couple weeks on Friday so they ended that class early and there's no read aloud today thankfully that's a waste of my time too the uh, <laughs> that same language arts teacher does the read aloud thing where they pick the books and um, take turns reading and she never calls on him for that so like he'll sit there with his arm up the entire time to read and it's rare that he gets picked and called on to read because I'm gonna just be honest with you she has a couple kids that are very clearly the teacher's pet like every morning she picks the same kids to read the Pledge of Allegiance and read the uh, the morning greeting and stuff and it's getting sickening now and just I'm gonna come out and say it and 
truly complain about her because I've had it with her. She's not a good teacher. This math teacher is excellent. I say that all the time. He knows what he's doing to keep the kids engaged. If anybody is having trouble uh, understanding anything, he will slow down and go back and not finish the lesson. And like, that's the way it should be. It shouldn't be rush, rush, rush just to make myself look good. Like I got through teaching all these lessons that we were supposed to get through and everything. No, if someone doesn't understand, and she reminds me so much of my friggin' sixth grade math teacher that I flunked math that year because I hated that woman. My mom hated that woman. I will never forget. I was out sick, and then when I came back, she was doing something that I totally didn't understand. I think it was Roman numerals or something. For some reason, my brain would not understand Roman numerals and stuff. And my mom had sent in a note to her with my homework that asked if she could give me extra help or anything and she called me up to the front of the class and like berated me for the fact that my mom sent in a note and was like you should be paying attention in class you shouldn't need anyone to give you extra help like absolutely ridiculous I'm surprised my mom didn't go down to the the school and like throw a fit because my mom was the type of person to do that but it was just that entire year was bad for me in math class because and that's one of the things that made me do crappy like the rest of my time in school in math was because that teacher was just horrible. I don't even remember her name actually. I think I tried to block her, block her out of my memory. What the hell was her name? Now that's gonna bother me. It wasn't Mrs. Devaney. She was funny and she was like the uh, social studies teacher. I think, God, has it been that long? It's been so long since I've been in school, I don't remember the teacher's names. <laughs> I know that Allie is probably watching this, so if you remember what the sixth grade math teacher's name was, that was a massive bitch. What was her name? <laughs> oh my god. I know I have my yearbooks somewhere from like junior high, so I'm sure she's in there. I just have no idea where they are right now. They're, I'm pretty sure they're buried in that big closet that I have to go through and clean stuff out of. Again, it was nice and organized, and then when Steven's mom and brother came to visit, I had to pull the twin mattress out of there and it just made a mess. Things fell down and collapsed on top of each other. And then we were too lazy to like fix it when they left, so we just threw the mattress back in there and now it's a wreck. So <laughs> when we move the Aiden's room and this room and switch them, I'm probably gonna have to do the clean out the closet too because I'm sure there's gonna be stuff that is not gonna fit in either room that we don't wanna deal with and we'll just put it in the closet oh and I was trying to look for friggin washing machines last night <sighs> I think we're gonna end up having to go to American Freight because they have good deals on them but like also a lot of the cheaper ones are not at the store that's close to us so I'd have to get it delivered and then like all the washing machines have different delivery fees on them for some reason but like the cheapest delivery fee is a hundred dollars so it's like here's this four hundred dollar washing machine and then you're gonna have to pay another hundred dollars to have it delivered and some of them they don't take the old one away which is gonna be a whole other pain in the ass because we like we're not gonna be able to f I don't think we'd be able to fit it in the, the Jeep to take it to the dump and we live in the city, so, well, I mean, I'm, it's the same in my grandma's town, too. If you have something giant, like a refrigerator or washing machine and stuff that you have to throw out, you have to get a tag from the city to have them come pick it up and take it away. 
um, if you want to do it that way. I think it's like 20 bucks, but it, it's a hassle because you have to call and schedule a pickup and you can only put it out on that certain day at a certain time. You can't have things sitting on the sidewalk or you get a fine. <sighs> Another reason that I don't like the city. <laughs> but um, real quick, I haven't used this yet. I got this from Ulta the other day. I uh, had to make an order for another thing of my shampoo I've been using, but this is a face sunscreen. I liked that it was a three ounce bottle of it because usually when you get face sunscreen, it's like a little tiny one ounce thing, no matter what brand, they're always tiny. Um, broad Spectrum SPF 30, it's Bravo Sierra USA, never heard of it before, but um, I figured I'd give it a try. kind of just smells like every other sunblock smells. Let's see. <laughs> and try it out here. I just, I hate putting sunscreen on my face because it always gets greasy and I mean this feels like it too. It doesn't smell too bad actually. It's not super super sunscreeny, but it seems to be soaking in. It just, I have oily skin to begin with and in the summertime it gets so much worse. Cause I'm sweating and stuff. I don't know. I'll leave that on my hand for a while and see how it feels, but it does, it has that slickness to it. Um, and then I got the I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach Mattifying Priming Spray. I don't ever use a priming spray that much because, like, I don't use, um, what do you call it? Foundation a ton, especially in the summer. But it says mattifying, so I th thought maybe putting this on first and then the sunscreen might help me be less oily. I don't know why it has two caps. Like, it has the, the orange cap and then it has a little cap here. But it smells like peach, which is pretty awesome. So, I don't know. I'm going to try them and I'll report back to you. I forgot to put either of them on today, obviously, but I will do a little update. Oh, and also, the honey... The little lip balm that came or lip mask that came with the Winnie the Pooh collection from ColourPop. As adorable as this is, it's got this really like it has like a honey smell, like what you would expect honey scented things to taste like, but whatever they put in it as a sweetener. I wish they hadn't put sweetener stuff in it. Like I hate when they do that. But this one is so much worse than what it usually is. It's like it's like I just smeared, like, um, <sighs> sweet and low all over my lips. I couldn't think of what it was called. It's just like, you can taste it and it's just, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't like that they added sweetener to it. I don't like when they add sweetener to their lip products, which is, they do it sometimes with the lip masks and it drives me nuts, but, um, that's something I don't put in my uh, lip masks, my uh, lip balms I mean, uh, they sell the stuff to add it to it but I don't add it because it, for one, it shortens the shelf life, it makes it expire quicker but also it's just like how many people want sweet stuff all over their lips? It's, ugh, I don't think I'm gonna use that one that much because it's just gross. But anyway, um, I'm going to go, what time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. His Next class isn't until 10.30, and then that's the last one of the day. And it's social studies with his math teacher, so it's not stressful at all because <laughs> it's an easy, easier class because that guy is so much better at teaching. But anyway, I'm going to go, and I will see you guys next week because today's Friday. I may as well just end the vlog here. I got this um, Master Yoda t-shirt in the last Star Wars box that Steven got. He didn't want it because it wasn't black or red. Like, he seriously only wears black or red shirts. Um, but the t-shirts the that come in those boxes, the Culture Fly boxes, like, I have a few from uh, the Nick box. The one I was ye wearing yesterday, I think, was a Rugrats one, and they're always so soft. Like, they're made of super awesome material. I don't know what it is, but, like, you put them on and it feels like one of those nice, worn-in, super comfy t-shirts. So, I just really enjoy when they put t-shirts in those boxes because they're so comfy but yeah i'm gonna go and i will talk to you guys next week